talking with Matt Funkhauser earlier. He said he taught you the up and in wiffle ball fastball. <laughs> and I'm curious how, how big of a role that played in charting your big league career. You know, just a lot of baseball, like you said, a lot of wiffle ball, um, you know, a lot of tennis ball, baseball, lob at the park, just, you know, at an early age, just love being outside, love sports and, and in particular baseball. And yeah, I mean, just, just a lot of games in the backyard, a lot of games down the street with the neighborhood kids, just, um, yeah, you know, just remember like it was yesterday and, you know, it's the love of the game was there early and, you know, it's still there and, you know, just, I guess just kind of reps, you know, hand-eye coordination, just kind of all that at, at an early age and, and just kind of, you know, took it from there and um, just, like I said, just really enjoy playing the game. I know you had some of your family here, you know, including your older brother. Uh, I think they said they were here the last two days and we're getting ready to head back to Columbus. And you said, hold the phone. Uh, I'm going to be making my first big league start uh, on Sunday. So how cool is that to be able to have family here and uh, to be able to go out and do a job that you did? Yeah, I mean, it was awesome. They were able to come for the weekend. You know, my, my niece is six weeks old. Uh, she was a trooper for all the games. So, um, yeah, they have two young kids now. So it's it's a little bit harder for them to get around, um, you know, kind of go to baseball games, stuff like that. But um, kind of made it work this weekend. And, and, yeah, they were, you know, planning on, on heading back early this morning. Again, you know, two kids, two dogs, um, kind of get back home and get settled in for the week. And, uh, you know, I guess kind of change plans last minute. But, you know, that's that's how this lifestyle goes sometimes. You know, it's, it's ups, it's downs. It's changing flights, redirecting flights, you know, extending hotels, getting hotels. Um, just kind of the nature of the beast, and I'm glad they were able to, to stick around and, and you know, see, uh, yeah, my first big league start. Yeah, he said you're a very good uncle, uh, which is a good thing. And um, they also talked a little bit about, you know, you guys growing up uh, White Sox fans. So you guys have traded in that gear. But uh, how, how cool was it? I know you faced Chicago before, but to be able to get your first big league start against uh, a team that you grew up for or grew up rooting for, uh, how surreal. Yeah, no, it was, um, it was awesome. Um, you know, a couple of weeks, uh, I guess last weekend, you know, you know, playing there and, and, and fans and a lot of family and friends were able to go there. Um, some more came, you know, some more came here and kind of check out the other ballpark as well, you know, in Comerica. But yeah, it, like I said, it's just, it's awesome. I mean, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster, you know, early in my career and um, kind of found a little bit of a role in the bullpen and, and just kind of try to run with it. And um, got a little confidence and, you know, now it's fifth inning, fourth inning, eighth inning, you know, just kind of whenever, you know, AJ and, and them, hey, we need you for this, you know, okay, I'm going to try to go out there and just do my best and, and just stand the attack and give it my all and, and kind of see what happens and whatever happens, happens. Thanks, Scott. Nice job today. Thank you. Thanks, Johnny. Go to Evan Petzold from the Free Press. Hey, Kyle, considering that, um, you know, you've, you've pitched out of the bullpen here in the majors, but then basically everywhere else you've been a, been a starter. Um, how did you prepare for this, this game? I mean, do you prepare more like a, a reliever, more like a starter, or do you try to combine a little bit of both? How does that work for you? I mean, really, I try to make it as much of a reliever appearance as possible. Um, you know, went down a little bit early. I mean, I went down to the bullpen at like 40, uh, you know, 1240, just kind of sat in there, kind of did my routine, uh, went out, did my bands, sat back down. Um, then kind of got up right before the anthem, got loose and, and threw about, you know, 15, 20 pitches similar to, you know, the sixth inning ends, they call down, hey, Funk, you got the seventh. Just uh, try to make it as similar to that as I could. Um, you know, uh, Juan and, uh, you know, he's like, hey, you know, you're a reliever. You know, it's, you're throwing the ninth inning. It's tied 0-0. I mean, just kind of play it like that. Um, that's kind of been my role. And, and uh like I said, just try to go out there and attack and, and see what happens. For sure. And throw, I saw Miguel Cabrera throw his arm around you as you were, uh, as you were heading down to the clubhouse. What did he say to you? He just said, good job, you know. And, and like I said, I, I think he has a little bit of a feel. Last year, kind of struggling at times, um, kind of being a prospect and, um, you know, now an, uh, an older guy, but um, compared to, you know, some of the younger guys we have. But, you know, he just said, really good job, man. Way to attack. Um, you've been good for us. Um, you know, just just keep it up, you know, keep up the good work. What does that mean to you when a, when a guy like Miguel Cabrera says that to you? It means a lot. I mean, it, we, we had a couple uh, battles last year in summer camp and, uh, you know, me pitching against him and, you know, same thing. I mean, he's, he's a really good teammate. He's a really good guy. I mean, he's like, hey, man, you got good stuff. Just just trust it, you know, attack. And yeah, those little 
kind of blurbs here and there. Yeah. From some of the guys, you know, scope and, and Miggy and, you know, some of the, some of the older guys, some of the, the better hitters, you know, they're like, man, you got nasty stuff. Just, just kind of just attack and just see what happens, you know, just, and that's kind of been my mentality, you know, all year. And, but it's good to kind of have that mentality, go out there and attack, see positive results, kind of get positive reinforcement. It, it kind of all just meshes into one, you know, just good situation and um, something to build on, you know, for my next outing, whenever that may be. All right. Good deal, Kyle. Thanks. Yep. You got it. Seven. We'll go to Jason Beck from MLB.com. Yeah. Hey, Kyle, you kind of referenced it. Um, you know, it was a couple of years ago you were on the verge of potentially getting a start here as a prospect. It's, it's been a, you know, a little bit of a long road since then for you. What does it mean to, to get to this point and get to the point where not only making your first start, but, but pitching the way you have been for the last, you know, month, month and a half. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been awesome. I mean, everyone's path is different, you know, for every 21 year old that makes it, there's a 29 year old who debuts, you know, and, not every everyone's road is is crystal clear and in a straight line and lines up perfect and um, you know yeah I had a lot of ups and downs um, but just kind of I guess molded me to kind of where I am now um, just kind of a different mindset seeing some some situations a little differently than I, I might have early in my career and um, like I said really just kind of goes down to just attack and and, and try to lose if I'm gonna lose lose in the zone you know make them hit it. Um, make them, you know, hit, get three, four, five base hits in a row to, to really uh, kind of knock me out of the game or, or whatever. And, um, you know, you're not always going to have your best stuff. You're going to walk some guys. You're going to give up some squib hits, some gaffers, some homers. But um, really just, you know, a lot of times you're positive and you're attacking, you know, things are going to go well. I mean, you know, seven out of ten times you're going to get the guy out and, and that makes that other guy a pretty darn good hitter. So um, just try to go out there and attack and, and stay on the offensive uh, the more passive you are at times, you know, you get, you just get hit harder. I mean, it's just how it goes, you know, when you, when you're passive and kind of foot off the gas a little bit, you know, it's it just, just the way the game goes. I mean, it'll, it'll humble you real quick and um, yeah, it's just, just stay positive.